Our next speaker is our eminent Dr. Harsha Bhattacharya, who is the founder, medical director, and trustee of C. Shankar Dev Netralia Gohati. We all know what a selfless uh, worker he is. And uh, he is going to talk on staying true to my values, what is possible and what is not, my view as an administrator. So in the next 10 minutes, I'm sure he's going to give a come out with pearls of wisdom for all of us to get better. Good morning and thank you for the opportunity. Now, I think all of you have read the very basic book of way of living in the Bhagavad Gita. That book says there is no external fight. The every moment, the fight which is going on, it is inside to do or not to do. Whatever the suggestion is given for to remain vibrant or women in ophthalmology, I think the constant fight has already started. I want to give value to the woman or not, to be vibrant or not. So there is the constant fight. To fight that value, what is important, we should have an inner value. And I'm not sure what is my, my understanding and my value, it will be your any value or not. So with that introduction, I will start. Now, true to self means remain true to individual values. If you look into the signs, the values are nothing but response to three individual challenges, universal challenges to human existence. Number one, need of the people as biological organism. Second is the agreement in social action. And third is survival and well-being of the group. The reference I have mentioned. The values are merely concepts that are different and vary from person to person, even community to community. Moreover, usually people do not consciously verify their core values until there is some challenges. Ideally, everyone may judge righteousness and rationality of their own values in reference to moral, ethical, and legal standard, and also in social and humanitarian perspective, considering the fact where the faith ends, the rationality begins. Two are in diverse pole. There is a word, Sanskrit word, there is a called Vivek. Now, it is a faculty to distinguish and classify things according to their real properties. If you look into the Vedanta, they say it, Vivek denotes power of separating the truth from the untruth. Vivek emerges from two true core values of an individual. Now, how the value generates? The values are developed in early stage from the practice and beliefs of our own family and from the community. Values and beliefs can change as one transform in the journey of life, interacts with the world, and expand. Coming to the type of values that have been described in the literature and scientifically proven, the value starts with the instrumental values, which gives the terminal values, which are goal-oriented. There are some professional values, professional core values, and organizational core, core values. Now, True to self is the guiding standard for decisions which is justified on the basis of its possible impact on the personal core value. When a person has a value, it reflects in his thought and his feeling. And finally, it is manifested in the behavior. And with our behavior, we connect to the external world. So first step they require for an administrator is to consolidate it, his or her own values. Now, manifestations of values have come to that point. The structural forms of one's core value is the individual identity. Action in public and private life, both are external manifestations of values. An administrator 
who does exactly what he preaches when says believe me people accept it considering to be genuine so matching of insight outside thought world and action this is the true to own value if the faith value faith or value is rational it is called positive core value and it leads to success but if it is negative it will give rise to failure this is true for any success story any success story if you analyze they believe in this principle now what is the benefit while remaining true to self the values create consistent personality makes a person impartial who can take correct decision and develop easy working environment the net result is stress free professional life true to self helps in selection of career and facilitates success in profession because such an administrator usually joins an organization having similar core values only it facilitates selection of employees with a similar mind for organizational success an efficient administrator always express this is who i am this is how i intended to live my life and this is real me in my opinion it is a fact of life and not a utopian concept a cardinal administrative qualities that are required for a transparent identity and effective administration there is a very important point to note to be become an administrator whether i have that qualities or not the subject knowledge a clear understanding and adherence to core values and futuristic vision are prerogative as these are guard rails that prevent egregious error knowledge on principle of negotiation and compromise is the determinant of priorities which guide better decision making even in ambiguous situation so we have to understand what is the principle of negotiation and the compromise the capacity for integrative analysis to verify structure the third quality strategy process and probable outcome of a decision rejecting any urge for quick fix solution the next property that is required for an administrator is true to self to know they want to the administrator should know true to self protects one against opportunism which is a drain leading to the chaos and destruction adherence to own values appears an unimaginably hard and daunting task but this is always a simple better and safer path lord buddha said no one saves us except ourselves now some uh, something about ethics of negotiation and compromise any decision taken remaining true to self or under the moral ethic and then legal standard of principles of negotiation and compromise such a decision is correct because compromise is a conscious process and philosophy in which there is a degree of moral acknowledgement of values of the other party on the contrary any decision influenced by the policy of opportunism the current world is the world of opportunity and profit so without due to due consideration of the unethical aspect of non negotiation and compromise where the intention is an interim solution of a problem and which is not in alignment to the core value of the administrator and the organization is wrong now what is the pragmatic justification of compromise and what is unethical about not compromising this is an interesting point to know the values can be compromised for attaining precise justice for a cause within the legal framework on the ground of reason with mutual respect engagement and sacrifice and good faith values with the justified justified benefit of the institution and both parties compromise with core values under guidance of ethics of reciprocity fellow feeling and upholding of other ethical values is justified on humanistic ground the other points on this context are compromise for human humanity and 
fallibility considering the fact that one may not be the only one who is morally, ethically, legally and socially right is also justified. But one situation, no one should compromise if the individual integrity gets diluted. Now, yesterday the integrity was defined by our chief guest in the inaugural meeting. Integrity means is a pure form of honesty. So, the path forward before an administrator to take a decision on the basis of wisdom of values and on the basis of wisdom of principle of negotiation and compromise. But why, two, why are the two opposing things meet at a one point? Now, what is the tapestry of two, true to self, values and compromise? When core values are true, both truthfulness and compromise have same meaning for an administrator. The secret of success lies on truthfulness to core values on the foundation of honesty and courage and compromise the dividing a cake in such a manner that everyone gets justice and feels like a winner. It requires wisdom. The choice of staying true to self is up to what extent, up to extremely only arises uh, when one is clear about one's core values and their righteousness avoiding opportunism, which has a pejorative pre connotation and is the cause of intellectual cliff, dilemma, and confusion. For any decision, an administrator should either remain true to self or follow the guiding principle of negotiation and compromise. Life-changing magic lesson for an administrator, not to be popular in social media, but try to, be, try to become a person of success, but rather than be, become a person of value. The mindset is everything. Story of an administrator is, it is not whether you, you are knocked down, it is whether you get up. So st staying true to my values, what is possible and what is not. It is an individual choice. They showed it possible, what they preached, they did it. How much possible it is, it is to remain true to one's own value is an individual choice. Again, it is determined by own core values. So in this world of uncertainty, we do not see things as they are. We see things as the value we have. Well-defined core values, remaining true to them, eliminates clouding of mind and always guides for belief, uh, for better decision, making everyone ambiguous, even in ambiguous situation. No decision can be great, even saying true to, even staying true to self, when, men, when human humanity is compromised and wisdom ignored. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Asha. Uh, uh, while uh, he's there with us, I want to ask uh, uh, the expert panel, how to ensure that there is room money swindling occurring in the different levels? How to ensure that the moral, the moral values, all of which, which he was talking about, is sustained in your team? How do you go forward on that? Anybody on the expert panel could? Basically, as, as all speakers have uh, said so far, you know, basically, you need to set an example of yourself to others. People should understand the core values that you stand for. As Dr. Harsha also said very elaborately, you have to be true to your inner self. Once the organization sees that this person stands for integrity, honesty, I think most of it rubs onto others. But as you said, you cannot ignore these little fallacies that might come up from time to time. Uh, I do know that these things happen in all levels of organization, small or big. And sometimes there is a little bit of theft money that ho happens and sometimes we have to ignore it also. But I think if you have a close watch on all the systems that are going on, uh, we have to basically devote time to our practices for analyzing the work that is happening, for looking at the revenues that are coming in. I think we should be able to uh, find that out. Yeah. Um, Dr. Harsh, you could sit here. Dr. RDR, I'm going to ask you. Um, uh, there is money swindling possibilities to happen in the opticals, in the pharmacy, maybe even in the theater, in the stores and all that. And you are having chains of hospital. So what are the ways you keep checks to happen? Besides all the entries being made on the EMR and all the cross checks which are done, there must be, how do you prevent it? What would be your advice? Which are the gray areas which we need to look into? Okay. So one is, uh, I mean, having transparent systems. If the whole system is very transparent, 
I mean, for, for example, every service has to be built before it is delivered. Yes. That, that's very important. Yeah. Second, following it up with some kind of technology, you know, because we are in the era of, you know, EMR. Yeah. If only if it is built, even any investigation can be entered or data can be entered. Some kind of a check, you know, you also can bring that will help. Third is a, a kind of a monitoring. You have, to, the, you have to be loud. Kind of, kind of a monitoring huh. to understand, you know, if, the, if there is any anything, there is any deviation, whatever minor, you have to really go into the depth and see. Yes. Even for example, you know, there was a, when Shreyas was presenting, he was saying that number of cases were cancelled. Yeah. Why they were cancelled? You know, if there is a cancellation involves a refund. Yeah. The refund is gone. Yeah. So all of that people have to really see and is there an evidence for that? And someone must be there. No, one person must be accountable for documenting all of that. that. There must be another person who has to independently check that. The last also, you know, when you have this data, especially people can cheat when there is a refund of a money where the service must have been delivered, you no, know, or may not have been delivered, but you know, they have to give back the money. Whether it has reached a patient or not can be also be done through some kind of a feedback or call center system. I think you need to have, you now while we need to stress on values as uh, Pro, Dr. 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 Harsha Bhattacharya mentioned, I think we also have to equally work on the systems and also finding the appropriate individuals. I think it's a, but it is always a challenge. People always will find a way to cheat the system, but we have to stay alert to that. Yes. It's an ongoing problem. So it's no institution can be free of that. Dr. Ratish, you want to add anything? About the compromise and in your life and to what extent should we compromise in terms of our with our staff? Probably instead of that, you know, I'll use the word balancing. Huh. So balancing the values is very important. Compromise is, is one way to ex express that. Values have to be balanced. There is nothing like a right or wrong. It's all based on the context. Yes, Doctor. Harsha. Now, the point is that I have given a guideline how to take a decision, up to which extent compromise. You have to take the call on the basis of uh, humanity. Now, we have to understand why the person has done the wrong. The person is repenting for his wrongdoing. And then you observe, give a chance. You keep him monitoring what the person is doing. Some of the people will not get rectified. I think every one of us experienced to it. To for them, for the greater interest of the other people who are serving the in organization and for the organization's sake, we have to take action as per the legal standard of the uh, of the country or land, legal standard of the law. Now you see the morality and ethics, both are not measurable entity. The measurable entity is the legal standard, we are following it or not. So after giving the chance, if the patient do not rectify, that time you have to take action on it as per the legal norms. If the legal battle pay the wins, we have to again reinstate the person, keep the under monitoring. And if the person fails, then to the court will give the justice because at that time we'll put the matter out of the administration of the hospital to the system of the country. So up to that extent, we can compromise. Uh. As far as possible, we would like to reframe away from the legal, legal battle. Legal battle, yes. Legal battle, because a lot of issues are uh, oh, yeah. involved. And yeah. And yes. And uh, the name and fame of the organization is also yes. yeah. uh, involved. And, uh, but definitely, uh, looking into that part, the person can go from that extent. To do it uh, without that, what I would do. You have to be louder. Please change the mic. Or do you have to use? No. Yeah, no, no, I mean, it, it's uh, whenever there's an issue on hand, 
like a cheating or whatever has happened it's always better to amicably settle it so instead of going into the the, the legal agencies it's, it's not always not very preferable because you don't get uh, because both the parties will be harassed it's always easier to kind of you know sometimes as he, as he was mentioning we may have to forego and that's where the systems become very important it has to be ongoing trust is should be there but systems also should be equally important equally important yeah. so that's the point i have told that he should be given at least one chance yeah i think that is thank you sir will any amount of holistic talks or motivational talks within the hospital help change these people or their no 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 you know i mean what is uh, you know, whatever the, the whole system has to reflect the values of the organization second is it's always you know it's good to send these people like we all come for a uh, this four or five days meeting even a spiritual retreat you know if you have your people going for some spiritual retreats for a week or 10 days that also change their mindset about life you know people make mistake only because of their belief or their perspective about life but yeah. when they go for a spiritual retreat now the recent years at least about 600 of our people have gone for the spiritual retreat and spent about a week wow. where you know, everything is paid by the hospital wow. so we also encourage the family members also go along with them wow. so it's a really a life changing experience for the people in the middle of it. so and you also you know have them really aligned to the patient care so